The Poppy Project was born back in 2017, with the vision for the outside of All Saints Pavement Church to be a sea of red poppies from top to bottom, in order to commemorate the 100th year anniversary of the First World War. The call for all the people of York to knit, sew and stitch 25,000 poppies began. Now, one year on, the project is finally coming to life. So I had really no idea how many poppies were out there. I thought, ooh, it's a few hundred, it will be fine. But um, we, I think, are hitting over 30,000 poppies now. It's quite incredible. Mostly done by groups in York, so the Innie Wheel, Rotary, the Trefoil Guild, uh, Foxwood Community Centre and individuals in churches. So sometimes it's one puppy, sometimes it's half a dozen, sometimes 2,000 will arrive at a time and there was one point where 6,000 puppies arrived. So today we're starting to attach the puppies to the netting which will be hung from the, the walls of the church in November. The project has reached people far and wide, prompting them to tell their stories and remember their loved ones. Well, I'm amazed at the response to start with and how so many individuals wanted to get involved to make a huge project to remember the 100th anniversary of Armistice and sometimes when I open a box or a bag of poppies there'll be a note inside that they're in memory of somebody from their family who died in the First World War or a photograph of a young man who died or stories of today where people are full of hurt and pain and making a poppy for something, for a project in this city, has helped them at this moment in time. Nothing to do with the First World War. And there's a group of patients in uh, GP surgery in Liverpool who sent hundreds and hundreds of poppies, something for their group to do together, which really helps people to come together, have time together, and chat about goodness knows what. As part of York Remembers, where events are being held around the city for the centenary, 62 names of local soldiers who died in World War I were read aloud. In York Minster there is the King's Book, which is a book of heroes of all the people from the city of York who died in the First World War. What we've done today is the second day of a series where a certain number of the names are going to be read out around the city, in every ward of the city as well, I understand. I think it's very important for them. I was a lucky family. Both my grandfathers came back from the First World War. Not a lot of people were so lucky, and we owe our lives today for their gift. The poppies are set to be hung outside the church on the 3rd to the 19th of November. But the project isn't going to stop there. But um, an amazing thing for me was that the National Railway Museum got in touch and asked what we were doing with the poppies afterwards. And they're going to be draped on a loco that took men to war. Because I think there's nothing unique in York about the First World War. It's really sad when you hear the names of young people being read out. And the research that had been done on families is amazing. But men got on a train and they didn't come back. So it's really appropriate that after it comes down from here, it goes to the Railway Museum and yet more people will be able to engage, to remember, to pray for peace I hope because we don't have peace in our world and that the horrors of all of the war and the wars since. So this project in particular links First World War to the three young men from Afghanistan who died who were from York. The Poppy Project not only reached its goal of getting the community involved in making 25,000 poppies, but it brought people together to share stories and remember not only those who fell in World War I, but all the wars since. Abby Walker, That's TV.